Good, good evening, um, Packers, and welcome to the synopsis for my amazing story, The Mortal and the Entity. The Mortal and the Entity is a tale of a man's life as a failing criminal and the chance that he has been given to make amends and to change his lifestyle. The chance is offered to him by the Entity Fate, who takes a man back in time to meet himself as a boy so that all three may travel along the highways of life together in order to reprogram the boys and therefore the man's way of thinking. Along the journey they meet all kinds of entities and beings, many of whom are the emotional and spiritual personifications of themselves. The first of the entities that the man meets the first of the entities that the man meets is a cynical and rude pessimism who swears vengeance on fate and the man for not allowing him on the journey and for leaving him behind, disappointed and angry. The first task for the man, Evan, is to convince the boy Woody that they are one and the same person and then to talk him into travelling with the older version of himself and fate on an adventure that will change and improve their life forever. As they travel along the highways of life and arrive at some crossroads, the boy is given the responsibility of choosing the direction in which the journey should continue. He unintentionally picks the road to ruin and almost causes the termination of their expedition. Fortunately, fate intervenes by teaching the boy to resist temptation by turning his back on the brightly clad entity, who turns up again in order to undermine fate's authority by tempting young Woody with desire and greed. The journey continues onwards to the land of opportunities, where Evan's previous conceptions about women are turned upside down when he meets the twin sisters' love and lust. They both mess around with his mind until one of them teaches him that sex has nothing to do with love and that all women own the right to be respected. In a terrible accident at the Milk and Honey Hotel, Evan's life is almost brought to an abrupt end by the boy's encounter with some poisonous herbs. The timely intervention by Faith saves the boys and therefore the man's life. Further along the journey, they encounter several snags, namely cumbersome, thwart, impediment and detriment. They overcome and ultimately befriend the snags when their leader, Hindrance, returns. It turns out that Hindrance knew about Fate's journey and can only apologise for the behaviour of the snags. As they head for home, things do not go according to plan, Fate has unwittingly crossed his superior and is taken away to face the consequences and explain why he did not seek permission for the journey from the all-seeing and all-knowing one, his omnipotence. Woody is left alone to face the canine repercussions which are sent by their master to seek and retrieve the golden opportunity and to destroy his unsanctioned documents. Evan returns home and encounters the most powerful entity of all, Destiny. Destiny punishes Evan to show that whatever is preordained must follow the course that has been decreed, unless Destiny decides that he will allow an alternative future to become a reality. A general feeling of uneasiness erupts amongst the entities when news of Evan's predicament and fate's downfall is revealed by doom and gloom. The entity Love visits Destiny to plead the case for fate, Evan and Woody by explaining that the breaching protocol was a necessity brought about by desperation. With the valid reasons for breaking the rules being accepted by Destiny, he offers a rare second chance to the three companions. After Fate explains to Evan that it would be more productive if Fate took him on the journey as a boy rather than as a man, 
Evan realizes the wisdom behind the suggestion and so agrees. The entity and the young mortal set off into Evan's world where Fate's first task is to ensure that Woody no longer hands around with Johnny Armitage and his destructive brother. Both Destiny and Fate work on the many obstacles that stand in the way of Woody's progress in attaining his goals. One of his early goals is to own his own dog, which his mother previously made clear that they cannot afford. He yearns to no longer be poor, relying on leftover Sunday lunch from his aunt's house, and to be able to replace his tatty plimsolls that the other kids laugh at, emphasising the poverty which is his way of life since his violent forsaken father left him and his mother to struggle. If Woody adheres to all the rules, sets some short term and long term goals, develops a plan of action, then his future and of course Evans should be a rich, rewarding and fulfilling life. Shouldn't it? Join Evan and Woody on their journey along the highways of life by listening to me narrating a story that is unique and refreshingly original by following me on YouTube every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. For an update and another exclusive chapter, if you enjoy our videos, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on Thursday night to read you chapter one, The Plan. Thank you once again.